guys, um, we're gonna make some bread tonight, some um, sandwich bread, just a loaf of bread. It's um, my favorite bread recipe ever. I've been making it for probably 15 years. And while that's rising and getting ready, we're gonna make some fettuccine alfredo for dinner. So it is another super really cold day here. Haven't done much. Um, the school's canceled again tomorrow. And so I need some bread. I like to eat eggs and toast and I don't have any bread. And um, you need some bread with fettuccine alfredo, that's for sure. So anyway, we're just gonna start out by doing that. So what I have here is I have a cup of warm water and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of yeast in it. And I'm gonna get a tablespoon of sugar. And then it's just gonna sit in here for a minute and get bubbly. Let me go get the sugar real quick. Okay, here we go, a tablespoon of sugar. I don't want you guys to be afraid, um, you know, to make bread. Don't be scared. It's easy. Um, I think this recipe is kind of foolproof. So anyway, we're just gonna let that sit in here and then the sugar, let the sugar activate the yeast. And then over here, I have two cups of water and I'm gonna put a quarter cup of butter in it, a quarter cup. So that's two ounces. So I'm gonna use my fresh butter that I churned the other day, and I'm just gonna get um, two ounces of butter out of it. So I'm just gonna measure it here. And you gotta make sure you tear it so you don't have um, so you get the right amount. Let me get, grab a spoon. The butter's been in the fridge. So I just need two ounces. So I'm going to get two ounces here. I'm just going to dig it out of my thing. Let's see. Did you get it on the right? Okay, there we go. A little bit more. All right, that's two ounces right there. So I'm gonna put this in here in this two cups of water and we're gonna melt the butter and get the water hot. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for a minute or so. Cause you want, you want the butter to melt. So I'm gonna get to that point and then I'll come back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I have the two cups of water here with a quarter cup um, melted butter. And you can see, you know, just the, all the butter is melted. You don't have any butter in there and it's kind of warm. So we're just gonna set that aside and then look at my one cup yeast with um, one, one cup water with one tablespoon yeast and one tablespoon sugar. And it needs to be warm water, warm water. And look, it's bubbling up. You can see it's bubbling up over there. If it doesn't bubble up, then your yeast isn't good and you need to get new yeast. So we're just gonna set this aside, okay? And we're gonna do the base of um, 
of the bread. So I'm gonna get six cups flour and just regular flour. You don't need bread flour, okay? Just regular all-purpose flour. So I got my bucket here. So we're gonna get six cups. So I'm gonna put it in my mixer with the dough hook. Make sure you use the dough hook. This is the dough hook. You need this one on your mixer. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then I need a quarter cup powdered milk. And I have I need to get a quarter cup measuring cup. So I've got some powdered milk here, powdered milk. This is the one that broke on me when I was making my pizza. So here's powdered milk, quarter cup. And then I have a third cup sugar, I already measured that out, I have it right here, a third cup sugar. And then I have a third cup of vital wheat gluten. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. I'm gonna take the oxy oxygen packet out, because I'll probably use it. Hopefully I have enough, but this is what it is, vital wheat gluten, it just looks like a little powder. So, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use up the rest of it tonight in this recipe. Yep, I got a third cup left. So that's all going in my mixer. So, vital wheat gluten, and yeah, you can buy it at Walmart. And then I'm gonna put a teaspoon of salt. salt that I like. It's just sea salt and it's fine sea salt. You can buy coarse. Um, I like the fine and it doesn't have any iodine, you know, and any of the stuff in it. I like, that's what I like. Or I buy the pink Himalayan salt. That's what I have in my shaker. So now I'm going to add um, the yeast and the butter mixture. So I'm going to add this Ye yeast, um, sugar, water mixture. It's just gonna go right in here. And it's already activated. You know, we activated it prior to doing it. So you know our bread's gonna rise. And then, this is the butter and water. So now I'm gonna put it in my mixer. Okay, let's just move it over here. Okay, so now we're just going to start mixing it. And we don't mix it for very long. This mixes up real good. And then we're gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna cover it and let it rise for 30 minutes. And then we're gonna shape it into our loaf for the, and then put it in the loaf pans. And then we're gonna let it rise again before we put it in the oven and cook it. So. Let me get this going and mix it all up and then I'll show you guys when it's all done mixed and what it's supposed to look like. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm going to be adding just a little bit more flour. Let me see. See, it's not pulling away from the edges. It needs some more flour. So I'm going to... I have a third cup here. I'm just going to sprinkle some in. And let that mix in until I've got the right consistency. Because you want... 
the bread dough, any dough, you want to pull away from the sides. If it's still sticking on the sides, then it's not right. You've got to put more flour in it. And so, this is looking better already. I'll show you in just a second. Let me get it mixed up in some more. Pushing it away from the sides, getting everything mixed in real good. See, look, it's so big, it's perfect, look. See what it's doing? See how it's pulling away from the sides and it's not sticking on the sides? There you go. So I put like, so this is a third that's how much I use, so maybe a quarter cup I use. But I'm gonna use some more because it's not done yet. I'm gonna put the rest of this in. So we put an additional third of a cup in. And that's normal for all bread recipes. Um, I do it to my pizza dough if it's sticking. You just don't this is not sticky buns. This is not like that. So you gotta make it right. I think this is gonna be perfect. I got my hand stuck in here earlier, and now it hurts. I always do this, but got the best one. and I'll come back and I'll show you when it's done and tell you how, exactly how much additional flour I added. Okay guys, the dough is all done. So you can see it there and I added an additional cup. I ended up adding a whole other cup. So we're gonna take it out. I've gotta get my dough hook out of here. Just kind of get the dough out of there, the dough hook out of there. And then I'm gonna get a dry towel and I'm gonna let it sit right here on my oven underneath the light in a warm spot for a half an hour. And then I'll be back. All right guys, I'm back. I'm gonna, I got some Crisco here and I'm gonna grease my pans real good. The other day I said these were my Pioneer Woman ones and they're not, they're Paula Dean. I was wrong. So there you go, I fixed it. So anyway, you gotta grease these pans real good because you know, when your bread's done, you gotta pop it out, dump it out. You don't want it to all stick on the bottom or on the edges. So you just gotta do this real good. So. I have a bunch of flour right here on the on the countertop. Look. Look how much it's risen. It's so good like that. So I'm just gonna. It's called risen, not risen? Yeah, risen. Christ is risen. That's how it's said. It so I'm just gonna take it all out of here. And then I'm gonna divide it into two because this will make two loaves. No, use your divider. I don't know where it is right now. Okay, there we go. Can I get it? 
So I'm just gonna cut it in half. It doesn't matter. Put that over there. So, so I'm just gonna roll it over. I need some bread like right And then I'm just gonna kind of roll it into a, a dough, a loaf. And then put it like this. It's not rocket science. It's really super easy. And then we're just gonna put it in our pans. See, there's my pan right there. And then I'm gonna do the other one. You can use um, a rolling pin if you want, but. I don't want to. Not on dough. Get your hands dirty. Get your hands in there. Get your hands wet. So there we go. That one might be a little bit bigger. But see, look. Now they're in my loaf pans. So I'm going to put them back over here on my oven. And I'm going to cover them up again. I'm going to let them rise before I cook them, before I put them in the oven and cook them. So when it comes time to put them in the oven, I'll come back and I'll see you guys in a, in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. It's about time to put these in the oven. Look how pretty these are. Look at that. Look at how it filled up the whole pan. It's risen up over the top. So pretty. So I've got my oven at 350 and I'm gonna cook them for 30 minutes. So we're gonna put them in here. I wanna take out one of these racks real quick and move it around, cause I don't want it so high. Okay, so let's be careful when you put them in. You don't wanna, you don't want your bread to fall. So you can't slam the, Oven door shut. You just slowly put them in there. You gently shut the oven door and then I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes and then we'll come back when we get ready to pull them out. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, the timer, the timer just went off on the oven. So the bread's done. So let's pull it out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, Mom. Yes. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Oh, that's pretty bread. You need to put the toaster away. It doesn't go over there. Okay, so now we got to rub it down with some butter. Remember, butter makes everything better. Don't go over there. Don't forget that. It goes over here where the bread goes. It goes down where the bread goes. So right here, I'm just gonna rub it down with some butter. And then I'll leave it in the pan for, I don't know, five minutes or so, and then we'll take it out of the pan. And then, you know, you always got to eat a slice of hot butter with some more butter or hot bread with some butter and honey, right? Now, tomorrow, when I want my eggs and toast, I can have it. It's too cold and icy to go out today. So good, man. The ice is just like melting on it. So there we go. Nothing like homemade bread. Another success. All right, guys, try it. Don't be afraid to try making bread. And you can use wheat flour too. You don't have to use white flour. But, um, 
I just always made it with white flour, but I have made it with wheat flour too because I do have a wheat grinder and do that. But go ahead and try it, guys. Be brave. Do it. You'll like it and you'll enjoy it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.